monkeys raised in the jungle are nature's natural acrobats. But girls raised in the urban jungle are not so natural. Ursula, be careful! How hard can it be? Watch out for that tree! Ah! No! This tree! Oh! Yeah. Uh. oh. Ow! Whoa! Oh. Oh. I cannot believe how unsafe that is. Someone could get seriously hurt swinging on a vine. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Behold! My brand new tree collision avoidance system. It's super easy. Just grab the blue vine, merge left on the red arrow, slow down at flashing yellow lights, and always stop for orangutans. The natural beauty of the wild can never be tamed by the regulations of so-called civilization. Just try it. I stand corrected, Ursula. Your system has taken the hodgepodge of nature's beauty and turned it into a simple, orderly way to maneuver through the jungle. George, I can't wait to see what you think. Go on. <laughs> Good thing sign there. George almost hit tree. Ow! But I don't want to wear a helmet. It makes George look stupid. This is just until you learn the system. Besides, no one's going to be looking at your helmet. Oh, really? Not when you're wearing the matching safety vest. Plus, a parachute backpack and boots that light up and talk. Please help me. I am Vine Challenge. George, maybe you should pull over to a slower vine. Uh oh, not a vine! Please help me, I am vine challenged. Maybe you could enroll in Apes Academy of Remedial Vine Swinging. Uh, does George have to wear a safety outfit? Not if you do well in class. Yeah! Vine challenged, vine challenged. Okay, class, who can tell me what this is? Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> a snake standing up? It is a vine. V I N E. Can Ape repeat that? Moving on to proper vine grabbing technique. Professor Ape, uh, there's something behind you? Just ignore it. <laughs> hey, no kid. Why are you in this dumb class? George just needs to learn new system better. <laughs> George! B -b -b but it wasn't... Hijinks will not be tolerated. After school, you will clean the gum off everyone's tree stump. Sorry. Pete really has it in for you. A clear jungle yell tells everyone you're ready to swing. George, let's have a jungle yell, then jump off. Hey, I know what we should call a new kid. Thud. Because that's the sound his head makes when it hits stuff. <laughs> hey, thud. Oh, oh, call me George of the Jungle. No, see, if you hang with us, you gotta have a snappy nickname. They call me Snake, because I'm the baddest one. Then what do they call you, Norman? You see, Snake used to be called Snake, but then Monkey came along, and he was way badder, so he took the name Snake. Oh, oh, that makes sense. George, I think it would be best for everyone if you wore this to class from now on. Whoa, you gonna let him make you wear that lame suit? Thud says no. Blah, 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 blah. 
Ow! Who did that? It's getting harder to tell you boys in the back row apart. <laughs> Ape has appointed me school counselor to talk with his most troubled students. Whatever. School is boring, Ape is boring, Vine system is boring. So that's how it is, huh? Look, buddy boy, you better start thinking a little more about your future and a little less about the past. You need to stop hanging out with them troublemakers and start hanging out with the consequences of your actions. Come on, Thad. We're waiting for you. Oh, gotta go. The bad kids are waiting for me. Let's go pick on the baby crocodiles. Yeah, they're such babies. I say we make some crank calls. George! Cutting class, huh? Uh, George has a note. George has permission to skip boring school. Signed, Mean Ape. I didn't write this. Okay, detention for everyone. Detention? All right! Thud rocks. <laughs> Thanks, bad guys. Well, better hurry. Don't want to be late for detention. <laughs> no way. Huh? We're just getting started. See that coconut? Bad I can knock it out of the tree. <laughs> nice one. Awesome. That's why they call me Snake, because I do the baddest stuff. Oh, <laughs> let's not try. <laughs> Whoa, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, Thud should be Snake now. Hey, I worked hard to be Snake. Sorry, monkey. Thud deserves it more than you. Wow! <laughs> Thanks! I'll show you who the real Snake is. <laughs> what was that, Thud? <laughs> <laughs> I'll show him all. Be more careful. My vine system is ruined. George, do you know who did this? It was me, Snake. Snake? Uh, I'll explain later. Hey, that's Ursula's. Put it back. Do well, you still think you're the baddest, huh, big guy? All right. How about a little contest to see who's better? Um, no thank you. Oh, I see. You're chicken. Oh, no, he didn't. Snake! He just challenged you! Yeah. Let's play a little chicken! <laughs> if George wins, George is the leader? <laughs> sure. And we'll do whatever you say. We swing straight for each other. First one to flinch is the chicken. But we haven't passed our vine swinging test yet. What are you, huh? To chicken to play chicken? Chicken! George will be right back. Don't do this! It's not safe! On the count of three. One, two, three!
before we start class, I'd like to introduce you to your new teacher's aide, George. With my new temporary vine swinging license. Whoopee. Vine challenge, vine challenge, vine challenge. It's time to get dressed! <laughs> Orangu pants activated! With these pants, I'll have the strength of 1,000 orangutans in trouser form! Hooray! Let's see those jungle bullies push my buttons now! <laughs> Back off, six legs! That's my egg salad! <laughs> 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 No going over the top! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Fuzz Space! Do you think I like eating sand, huh? <laughs> Do I ever? <laughs> Yummy! Oh. <laughs> Time to give Mother Nature a spanking! <gasps> Oh, hi. Don't mind me, just doing science. You know, underwaterology stuff. That wasn't me. Who's a wimp now? Bring it on, horn face! Stuff that isn't food, huh? Ah! That's right, cry home to your fuzzy little bombs. Boo hoo hoo! Wow, we is there anything your orangu pants can't do? No, they do it all. Now you're in for it. From who? George? Oh, he's strong, all right. But is he orangu strong? I think not. <laughs> Just walk. He could have been here an hour ago. I don't know, okay? I don't know! Hey, fat doctor! Stop beating up animals! Well, thank you for finally showing up! It's not like I had important stuff to do today or anything! <laughs> Time to crank it! <laughs> Impossible! No one's that strong! Cuspid! Ew! Those are the same underwear you wore yesterday! What? No, they're... How do you know that? Wow, that only took forever! I... But I guess that's what happens when you hit every tree in the jungle. Admit it, George. You have a tree problem. But George always hit trees. I'm ranting here. George, you need help. Science help! According to my calculations, George spends over 12 hours a day about to hit a tree, hitting a tree, or hitting a tree again. It hasn't stopped him from being a good king. Not knowing basic math didn't stop me from being a scientist either. But it doesn't mean it was right. You don't know basic... Trust me, George. I make you better king. But first, we need some science data. Okay, George, swing over here! I can't stop watching. I know, it's so hypnotizing. The way his face just stretches. How oh, this help, George? Hello? Was uh, it's our, uh, you know, data and stuff. We need more data just after we watch this again. If I learned anything.
anything at online university, it's that you can't do science without a laser or two. Yes, but some lasers are extremely dangerous. You do know there's different kinds, right? Of course I do. There's red lasers and there's blue lasers. This is a red one, so it's completely safe, scaredy cat. It'll scan George as he swings and makes all sorts of charty graphs. Okay, George, go! Uh, 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 ah! oh. Please, stop! It okay, George fine! Okay, George, there's absolutely no trees to hit here, so just swing across the clearing. You gotta be! George radiates something I like to call the Magnolia's Arbor Effect. He can't help but swing into trees. It's like he's a wood magnet. Trees always love George, ever since George was little. Wait, George wants to play too! George very popular when George was young. <laughs> Why George wrapped in tin foil? You're like a balloon that never lost its static electricity. And as every scientician knows, the only way to get rid of electricity is with more electricity. Is George happy the way George is? George loved tree kisses! Pish posh poosh, a few hundred gigawatts and you'll never hit a tree again. I have to agree with George. If he prefers to remain as he is, you must respect that. Um, hello? You tried to brainwash him only five episodes ago? anti 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 Touché. <laughs> yes! I was foolish to think orangapants would be enough to stop George. Have you seen him recently? He's totally jacked! I need to find some new combination of animal and clothing. Something fabricticians have only dreamt about. Cuspid, fetch my finest cyber yarn! George, it's okay. The lightning's gone. Come on out. Come on. George feels <laughs> different. A billion volts will do that. Let's see if it worked. Go on. Swing! Uh. Uh. No hit tree! George never no hit tree! <laughs> it's okay, George. It's okay. It's better than okay! It's great! I'm the smartest! Wow. Wow. George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch him pass those trees. Doesn't quite have the same ring. George miss his tree kisses. Scamper away! <laughs> hey, stop fighting animals, Doctor! First, how'd you get here so quickly? Second, who cares? Because I'm sporting my new gorilla sweater! George, teach you lesson! Oh, really? And what would that be? Grammar? Personal hygiene? You're not qualified to teach! <laughs> this is too easy! Uh, it's like you're not even trying! Yeah. In fact, I don't even need my gorilla sweater! George don't understand! <laughs> that went better than expected. Now, where were you? And for my discovery of the Magnolia's Arbor effect, I feel a Nobel Prize would be... Ow! Oh, man, that... George? What happened? You happened. Somehow you made George as weak as a very weak kitten. George must go back. Stop, doctor. Okay, okay. I'll do some science and figure out what's wrong. It's because he's not hitting trees. <laughs> this is ridiculous. There's no way hitting trees made George strong. It's the only thing we haven't tried. Now swing! <laughs> Dumb. Face tree, no making muscle. What? Magnolia been working out? No, but I figured out what happened to your strength. No mere researcher does that to a PhD. 
Uh, it's uh, tree vitamins, George. They get slammed into your cells every time you hit a tree. <laughs> Magnolia's right. George's near constant dose of exotic tree vitamins gives him strength far exceeding your average ape man. Swing, George. Swing and hit as many trees as you can. George can do that. George, miss. Just hit a tree. Oh, George can't. For oh, the love of. Hurry. My tree vitamins are wearing off. Hit harder than it looks. Why is it so hard to hit a gap? George, hit tree soon! <laughs> hey, stop! That's weird! <laughs> oh, oh, ah, 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 ah. Jungle love George again! Uh, <laughs> I just got this sweater, and the first thing you do is rub greasy jungle man all over it? That'll never come out! George takes sweater ugly! <laughs> <laughs> Tree kisses do make George strong. Good. I'm glad. I had to hit a lot of trees to figure that out. Am I missing any teeth? Um... Oh, no, no. Uh, you fine. Ah, the jungle. Peaceful as a sleeping cobra. Until... Danger season strikes. When nature runs as rampant as a giant daisy with tornadoes and dinosaurs. What do you know? I'm not extinct. Help! Help! Beaver needs George. Help! Help! Big Mitch needs George. Mitch's disaster. Get it off! Get it off! Oh, don't be embarrassed about your nose. Some girls like that. Just punched in the face. Look. Not my nose. What's on my nose? Get it off! Get it off! A ladybug? Oh, she won't hurt you. Be free, ladybug! <laughs> ladybug needs George. Hey, hey, hey! You're abandoning me already? Oh, what if a roly poly shows up? <gasps> Or a butterfly. Just call for help. As king of the jungle, George will help anyone in danger. Anytime. Anywhere. <laughs> anyone in danger, eh? This sneaky marmoset feels a very shallow plan coming on. But first, a test. Help! Help! George is here to save you. I'm in terrible danger. It's just finished popping, and I don't want to burn my fingers on the steam. No! George goes stick finger and face in snow. Hold up! Oh! Big Mitch is in more danger? You bet! This popcorn is dangerously salty. It could leave me dangerously parched. I need a hot cocoa. You don't mind, do you? Oh, George never minds. <laughs> One cocoa bean. <laughs> Two cocoa bean. <laughs> Three cocoa bean. <laughs> and now to make Mitch's cocoa hot. Your heart, Coco. <laughs> what? No tiny marshmallows? George, I'm dangerously disappointed. Uh, Big Mitch needs George again? I'll let it slide. But only if you check under my bed for monsters. Looks clean from here. <laughs> Test complete. He's tough. 
And the sucker. The perfect one-two combo. With George under my non-opposable thumb, we'll see who's the real king of the jungle. The party king, that is. <sighs> George? George, you've been out all night, haven't you? And your day's completely booked with danger. <laughs> Big Mitch! Needed Coco! Coco? Oh, George. Big Mitch is a lazy scoundrel. You don't have to swing off every time he calls for help. Yes, George does. Doesn't Ape remember? George made a solemn promise long, long ago. I, George, solemnly promise that when I am king of the jungle, if any creature finds itself in danger, I shall immediately come to its aid, regardless of the danger to myself. <laughs> Strange. You sounded much more articulate back then. If George breaks his solemn promise, he's not worthy to be king of jungle. George is king, and Big Mitch needs George. Stupid danger season. All this flaming rock in the air is giving me the freak. The forecast says early morning meteor showers clearing the scattered frogs. Oh, there goes my complexion. Ursula, Magnolia, hello. Hi, eh? How's George? Ridiculous. Big Mitch has been calling him in all sorts of fake emergencies. I don't know how he's gonna keep up with the real ones. Help! Help! Yeah! Bad giant clown. Uh, George, I'm entertaining tonight. You yeah. gotta weave me some play snacks. Go to the convenience cave for snacks. That obnoxious marmoset is totally using George. Doesn't he realize? I tried explaining, but George is determined to help him anyway. We're in danger of disappointing my guests. Maybe George will make clam dip. <laughs> Help! I need more salsa. Stop <gasps> right there, George. But Big Mitch needs more salsa. We know, but you can't help everyone all the time. George, we get that keeping your promise is important to you. So we decided to help you help others by helping Mitch while you help everyone else. Oh, but George promised to make mini pizzas. We can do that. Go! And if anyone from this party calls for help, ignore it. No matter what. Good sweet Sahara, please help! Right! George will ignore it. Not him, the party. Oh, okay, now I got you. See you after the party. Go! <laughs> Corn chips. Pork rhymes. Itty bitty marzipan ballet slippers. Big Mitch is back in action. <laughs> Where's George? George is out helping people who actually need help. But I promised the guys he'd be here. Tough coconuts. We're filling in for him. Oh, great. But okay. If that's the way you want it. <laughs> Cause it's fight night, baby, and you're the main event. Help! Help! <laughs> oh. Oh. Danger season's over. Now what to do? Help! Oh, oh, oh. And if anyone from this party calls for help, ignore it. No matter what. I'll be okay. Someone else needs you now. Uh-uh. Oh. George ignores the party. <laughs> George ignores the... Not kidding, George! Get over here now! Hmm. Maybe George just go tell them to use their inside voices. Ding dong! Okay, 
Noogie Noogie! Oh, oh, George, thank goodness. Get in there and put on a show. These friends of yours couldn't defend their lives if their lives depended on it. You put George's friends in cage? Well, it was supposed to be you, but you dumped these guys on me. Oh. Now my reputation as the party king is in serious danger. But George's friends are in danger. Correct, George! Big Mitch put them in danger just for fun? Bingo! No, big deal. I put you in danger just for fun a bunch of times. <gasps> big Mitch has been taking advantage of George? Duh! Ah. Oh, George will fight, all right? <laughs> cousin George? Cousin Papaya? Little Cousin Papaya? Is that really you? And I solemnly promise to thrash the daylights out of anyone who messes with my cousin George. <laughs> 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 Just look at him, George. Our little cousin Papaya, all grown up. Where does the time go? Mm. Ladybug. No! Get it off me! Hell! No! Big Mitch needs George! George? And George will help Big Mitch help himself. But maybe later. Get it off of me! <laughs> the Jungle, a typical Tuesday. <laughs> Today is different. Today, the Jungle gets a special treat. Yes, the legendary Blue Crooner. Her voice calms the savage beast. Tames the surliest volcano. She even does experimental jazz. Yeah, I don't get it. But that's a story for another time. Ooh, let's sit up front. You are king. George? Uh, better view at back. But it's the blue crooner. I need to hear every exquisite note. Can you see the stage? I can't see the stage. George, we should move closer. Nope. George good right here. <gasps> it's starting! <laughs> What's with this vine? Ah, <gasps> uh, George? Now, Tiger? Not yet. Patience is the hunter's best quality, Weevil. After a loyal mustache. Watch out, Jungle. It's Tiger Titheridge and Weevil Plumtree. There are hunters, and then there's Tiger. His collection of trophies extends farther than our animators can draw. Tiger's the greatest hunter the world has ever seen. Weevil is working on it. Batman Hunters! Activate the monkey warning system. Hey, monkey! Do warning! <laughs> My word! George Staff Hunters! George, wait! They're after the Blue Crooner! Yank that vine, man! Crooner, look out! Okay, madame? Yes, yes, quite fine. But that voice, it sounded familiar. Mina familiar, Mia Tito. Tito? Blast! Grab 30! Talk about Tito later! Oh no, we lost her. Weevil, my feeble friend, this hunt has only just begun. Bad hunter's still behind us? <laughs> I'm sure I know you. No, no, me, Toti. I thought it was Tito. Where? Me no see Tito in ages. I'm positive we've met before. No. Nope. Ah. <laughs> You'll be safe here. Oh, 
this is George's home. You know him? How? Oh, if no one hears that old story. Yes, Abe does. I mean, yes, I do. Back when George was just a wee boy, I taught him to sing. He was the best student I ever trained. You see, every singer has a true voice, one that comes from their very soul. And we were close to finding George's inner music. Yes, George, yes, you're almost there. Bravo, bravo, George. But this is just a step on the path to finding your song, George's song. But one day, George stopped coming to lessons and answering the phone and his mail and the doorbell. That's not how George remembers it. <gasps> George? George, stop, because animals laugh at George. They all laugh at George. <laughs> I can't believe I was fooled by your feeble disguise. It's not your fault, it's a cartoon thing. Otherwise, we'd also notice that sawing sound. What sawing sound? Exactly. <laughs> Hello, feathers. Sweet dreams one, sweet dreams two. Blue crooner! <laughs> I'll never sing for a monster like you! I don't want you to sing. I want me to sing. Oh, my! He's full of jerky! So much jerky! They say the Blue Crooner's voice is hypnotic. Let's find out how hypnotic. I don't know how long we were out, but... Wait! Do you hear that? George, hear nothing. That's what I'm worried about. Hello? 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 And no one pick up coconut. George, it's the Krona! George here! Ooh, pretty sound. George, it's hypnotizing. Earplugs tickle. It's coming from this way. Hey, let animals go, bad hunters. Where's the blue crooner? She's in my throat. You eat crooner? Help me, George! Don't be a dunderhead. I'd never eat as useful a bird as her. <gasps> Your siren song has no effect on us. We stick bugs in our ears. Very clever. But are your insect earplugs wearing earplugs? <gasps> Ooh, that's smart. You'll make my best trophies yet. <gasps> Let's see what you got. First, me warm up. Do re mi fa so. La la li 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 lu lu. Mi ma 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 mo mu. Do re mi fa so. La 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 li li lu lu. Black block. Come on, man. Ready now. <gasps> yes. Now that's a challenge! George, you're doing it! No king 
should sound like that. George, don't listen to him. Don't listen to anyone. Reach down. Sing the song that is deepest within you. Sing George's song. <clears throat> now it's been a nice intermission, but it's time for the grand finale. <laughs> George reached down deep to the core of his soul and unleashed George's song. Sing it again. Uh. But me not finished yet. Time for encore. No, that's really not. <laughs> ah! 